Hey, third graders, it's Mrs. Linderman. We are starting another writing unit next week. So today I want to give you a little preview. And I want you to know that we're going to work on something called explanatory writing. So let's explore what that means. All right, what is explanatory writing? You're probably wondering that. I think if you say the word explanatory, you can probably hear the word explain because in this type of writing, that's what you get to do. You get to explain about something that you know a lot about, okay? Something that you know how to do or something that you're an expert at. It is not a step-by-step -step or a how-to writing. You've done those before in the past. Maybe in kindergarten, you wrote about how to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. You get the two pieces of bread, you spread peanut butter on one side, jelly on the other, step-by-step. -step. That is not what this is. You are explaining something that you know a lot about you won't be doing any research because all of that information is already up here in your brain. You are the expert in an explanatory writing. So how do you get started? Next week, we'll have some writing lessons that will be posted every day, and we'll start it next week in detail. But for now, I want you to start thinking about some things you know a lot about, maybe something you do really well. Maybe you or somebody would consider you uh, an expert in this particular topic. So here are some idea examples just to get you thinking. Maybe you know a lot about a special place, so possibly Disney World. Maybe you know a lot about the beach because you go there often. Okay, maybe you know a lot about games or different kinds of sports. So maybe you play volleyball. Maybe there's a particular card game or a board game that you play really, really well. Maybe you're a skateboarder. Okay. A lot of you know a lot about video games. We are not writing about video games. Okay. Are we writing about video games? No, we're not. That can be a free write. You can write about video games anytime. Maybe you are really good at a particular job or a particular task, and maybe you're going to need to ask your parents for some ideas as well. Like planting a garden. Is that something you do every year and you know how to do that? Maybe you like to repair things or like change uh, a tire on a bike because you like to to work on bicycles. Maybe you could even think about things like hobbies that you have. Maybe something like baking or maybe you play an instrument as a hobby that you could then talk about or teach somebody about. Maybe it's even something like a club you belong to, like a 4-H club or um, Girl Scouts or maybe even some place that you volunteer. Those are some ways we can come up with some ideas, and we'll work on that next week, but I want you to start thinking about it. So what is your assignment today? Well, you have a new collection in your Epic Mailbox, and it's called Explanatory Writing. So I want you to read from that collection today. I want you to check out a few of those books and see how they teach you about something, but not actually how to do something step by step. Okay, so for example, you might decide to explain or teach somebody about building a treehouse. Maybe that's something that you've done in the past or you have done um, for a neighbor or maybe your dad is a builder and he's done that and you can explain that because you've got some experience with it. That doesn't mean that you're sharing how to build a treehouse, right? It means that you're telling our reader what's involved in building a treehouse. So things like what they need to know, what tools do they need to have, how do you come up with a plan of what the treehouse is going to look like? What do people actually do in a treehouse? Where do you build it? Things like that, all right? So your job today, remember, is to go to Epic, look in your mailbox for that new collection that's been delivered, start exploring, start to think, what am I an expert at? What do I know how to do really well? Okay, and we'll talk next week. You'll have an idea sheet that we'll fill out but I want you to have some idea a little bit ahead of time so that you can start thinking about what kind of an explanatory writing you're gonna be able to do in third grade, all right? Good luck, enjoy the collection, and I will talk to you soon.